So this is the house that we're looking to rent for the event. So it will be big enough to house uh, more than 20 devotees. As you can see, it's very nice. A uh, little front garden with some roses. Yeah, it's very, very beautiful. It has two floors. And uh, of course, if we came here for sense gratification, it will have everything we need. Uh, so he said he could remove all of this. We could have a carpet here and do our program here. Here you can see this is a KTV room. Uh, this is very famous in China, open this and sing. Anyway, we won't be needing this. Second floor here, they have some gaming machines. As you can see, some computers and all. Also, these can be used as beds to sleep. Massage chair, they even have a projector to watch a movie here. I mean, this, this is a, a dream for those who want to enjoy the senses. That's definitely right on. For us, also it's nice because it's separated. We can have a big curtain and not disturb uh, neighbors. So that's the main point. All of this though, was the news. All right. <laughs> Studying scriptures. So today I went to Jenju to organize for the association when Sundar Gopal Prabhu would be coming. But when I was coming back to Xuchang where the temple is, I was listening to Prabhupada's class and I passed the station. So the next station was only four hours and a half later on. So now I'm 400 kilometers away from the temple. It's 8 o'clock now, the train is at 9.50, so I'm going to arrive at the temple around 2 a.m. In the beginning I was a bit frustrated, but after I calmed down, I was chanting my rounds and uh, uh, it just passed, you know. This is one of the advantages of spiritual life. You start to be able to tolerate more agitating situations. Uh, normally people who are addicted to fruitive activities, to sense gratification, uh, they would get more agitated and then try to subside this anger by engaging in sense gratification. The beauty of devotional service is that you can perform it wherever you are. You can just take your beads and start chanting or read Prabhupada books, think of Krishna. In this way you become absorbed in the pastimes and you transcend material situations. So it's a nice test. I consider it the mercy of the Lord. Hare Krishna. So we are back to our Hanan temple. It's been about one week now. For those of you who have been following the vlog, uh, we went to the southern temple for about four months and to Singapore also. We removed all the, the padding and uh, we sweeped everything, all the dust everywhere and all the rooms. So we came to Jenjo to arrange for a program at the yoga center, my wife and I. So it was very uh, successful. Uh, the yoga lady, she already knows a bit about uh, Krishna and she wanted to meet some uh, teachers, as she says, from uh, Bhakti Yoga. So she wants to learn very much about it. So we had a very nice preaching uh, program with her. We introduced her to a, a very uh, short introduction of uh, devotional service. She wants a long-term cooperation. So even later on, my wife and I will be coming here to give some classes. And uh, she says she wants to come also to our temple. Some people were saying in China that uh, you cannot go to yoga place anymore. It's finished or it's too dangerous or what. But we're not the doer. If we have the sincere desire to preach, we must try and the result is not up to us. Whether we fail or not, that's up to Krishna. But we have to try with a sincere desire. And you see, today Krishna made wonderful arrangement. So now we have one nice contact here in Jenjo. So this is a further step, a nice breakthrough in our uh, preaching activities here in Jenjo. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. So today uh, I wore a bit more formal as you can see. Of course in China we cannot wear dhotis but Shri Prabhupada said that his disciples should look like gentlemen. So uh, we should dress nicely, properly and also shaved head and sika. And also he says uh, the bead bag around the neck. So my wife she made the comment that it's true that since she was also wearing more formal uh, she had more uh, confidence in speaking, you know, in, in uh, preaching to the... In China, we cannot wear the tilak, of course, so that is uh, omitted. 
But uh, yes, except this, that was a very good preaching trip. So I am editing some pictures that we are going to be hanging. Uh, we want to be making the te temple looking even more opulent. So I'm using Photos, which is the default program in every Mac computer to edit the color and also the size. So I chose most of the highest resolution picture that I had on both sides. We'll be having two big pictures. We'll be covering that character there with a diamond-like picture also. We will be printing one more big size like this that we will be replacing. We'll be putting it here and it's going to be Radha Krishna. And this one will be coming on this wall here. I think also we'll be putting two paintings, one on both sides of the altar. So one here and one there. So we are arranging for the coming of the devotees. So there will be more Matajis and Prabhus coming. So here we have arranged for their accommodations. I have Raja Kishore Prabhu and his wife are already in the Southern Temple at the moment. Uh, so tomorrow Prabhu also will be arriving there and on the 4th they will take the high speed train to come to Jenjo, the city north of here. We will meet them there, have a program for about 2-3 days and then come back here to this temple. So as you can see the temple room is a bit of a mess. We have removed the altar, we're going to be installing some new lights and also we have ordered a new altar paid for by um, <clears throat> one Mataji here. It's going to look very beautiful, made of stone. We're going to install some bright spotlights like this so that we can see the deities very nicely. You know that we had these big paintings installed on Janmashtami 2017. Now we have made even more that we will be putting all over the temple. This one is amazing. It is very big and very opulent. Shishirada Krishna. You can see. So we're making the temple as beautiful as possible to please Shaprapad Krishna and the devotees. Karibo. So just now I was um, feeling a bit bewildered, we can say, because the service is so intense these last few days um, and the DTs are not on the altar because we had to do some renovation. So we haven't been performing Mangalarti for a couple of days. We're simply waking up and chanting. So I was thinking, did I commit an offense that I'm not feeling so much, um, so much realization coming anymore? I was thinking it's probably pleased upon me, you know, from what I'm doing here. I was thinking I need to hear from Prabhupada, you know. And uh, the letters are always nice, Shikshamrita, uh, Prabhupada's letters. So I was thinking, let me just open a page. I was thinking like this, I was thinking maybe he'll talk to me or... And anyway, even though he doesn't talk, Prabhupada's uh, letters are always nice. So I open the page randomly and I read the first letter on that page. Yes, progress of devotional service becomes choked up when there is gross offense to the spiritual master. So far I am concerned you have no offense. You are carrying my order faithfully in a far distant place. So you always have my blessings and Lord Chaitanya's blessings. Do not think otherwise. Even if you think you have committed offenses, it is the like kicking of the small child, which is taken pleasingly by the parents. So don't worry about it. Krishna will give you all protection. I am so pleased upon you that on my order you have gone to distant places and faithfully served the cause. I thank you for this attempt. Prabhupada is not gone, he's here and he can talk to us directly through his words. This is the form of Vani, he is present in his Vani and somehow or other if we get some sincerity he will speak to us directly as he just did with me. I'm in a distant place and I'm trying to carry out his order and I thought I had committed an offense and all of this is inserted very nicely in Prabhupada's words. Prabhupada is not gone, he's not post-mortem or all the offense 
offensive words that they're using. Prabhupada is here. Not in a poetic way. Prabhupada is here. Krishna Kirtana Gana Natana Pano Premamritam Manidhi